Hello, I'm Ben from Meku, and today we're going to show you how to save hours per day making up to 19 retainers on a single sheet of retainer material. Uh, this material is 4 to 8 millimeters wide, and we're going to be using it in the multiplier. We're going to be timing the whole thing on this timer here so you can see exactly how long the entire process takes from beginning to end, uh, ready for cutting at the bench. So we're going to start the timer now. Okay, off we go. Uh, we're going to go straight into the multiplier. Um, this multiplier has already been pre-charged in the settings. We're going to go with our auto setting, placing the material in, close the lid, lock this off, bring it up. Now, the heaters have come on. Uh, the machine is already pre-charged because we've switched that on in the settings. For anyone that wants to do that, you can find it in the settings and just switch pre-charge on. That means the compressor pre-charges the machine and you can place these models down uh, without the sort of bed rattling a little bit, um, which can move these around a little bit. Um, so we're just going to place these on with as much space as possible between each one just so there's a nice gap for the material to be able to get into uh, whilst, yeah, into all of these little sort of spaces. A few more here. That's it. And I'm also just keeping one eye on where the sheet is. Our auto leveling system is sort of keeping that sheet perfectly level. Now, obviously, we've got a little bit of a temperature differential between the center of the sheet and the outside. Uh, it's about sort of 10 to 20 percent, um, depending on the types of materials that you're using. Uh, but we've not seen a huge amount of difference in the types of uh, material, like the changes in the materials that you're actually using there. Um, we're using a, a profile that we've got saved this. This profile is already installed on the machine. And yeah, you can make your own profiles, change all the settings. I'll go into a little bit more of that in a second. I'm also just going to press this up arrow just to bring that sheet up a tiny bit uh, above any of those models. So that's just working with that auto leveling system to bring that sheet up a tiny bit because we're going to be covering quite a lot of models here. Uh, we're on 135. In a second, we're going to start to see the heaters start to flicker. That's a good visual indication for us that this is almost ready to form. Um, there's also a little beep sound, which we're going to hear in a second. Uh, that will tell us to bring the machine down, lock off and release all of that air into the chamber, which I'm going to do very shortly. So the heaters have started to flicker and we should hear a beep any second. There's the beep. We bring that down, lock it off. So that sound you've just heard is four bars of pressure being released into the dome in the top of the machine. Now that's going to hold that pressure in place inside of the dome and really crunch all of that material around all of our models and give a very, very highly detailed form. Now, whilst we're doing that, the, all of these holding periods and the cooling periods can be completely customized. Um, so you can actually make and play back profiles of any sheet material that you like, which means that anyone can come in and use this machine and, you, and get really sort of consistent results. We're about to release all of the air. There we go. So all of that air has now been released out of the dome in the top and the machine is going into a cooling period. This cooling period is on 30 seconds for this. Again, you can change that cooling period as much as you want. Um, go back, change it out. Yeah, no matter who's, who's really using it. Uh, so we're down to sort of eight seconds now, which means we'll be able to open this machine, take this form out, it'll be cool to the touch. It's gonna give us a score as well which was 99, not too bad. So it's now ready to open, open this up. And you can hear that the machine is already pre-charging the tanks. So if you're doing a full cycle, uh, if you're doing forming back to back, you can actually um, just, yeah, take it out, start cutting whilst the machine charges up for another one. For cutting, for rough cutting, we're using some carbon fiber scissors 
The way I like to do it is I like to cut a sort of pizza shape out like so, which will just get us through the rough cuts. Those are ready. Oh, there's one more. So that is 19 forms ready, five minutes, 55 seconds. Um, so yeah, we've gone all the way from our models to 19 forms in a single cycle, ready to take these straight to the bench for cutting. Let's look at the numbers and work out what this will mean for your cycle time and how many you can make in a day. So that is five minutes and 55 seconds, which is 355 seconds in total, which is about 18 seconds per retainer, which means you can make up to about 200 retainers per hour.